Aquarius, welcome to your mid-September 2020 general tarot update. It's Raina here. I'm using the Lightseer Tarot deck this month, in case you're interested. It's a new deck that I um, I purchased a couple of months ago, I think, and I've used it so far. Uh, this is the second series that I'm using it. Oh, I love these colors, especially on an overcast day like this. It makes it so nice. Nice and cheery. Wow. There's a lot of um, warmth and, pa you know, like passion in this reading, but also kind of, you know, the emotional coming through here we have like so much wands okay which is fire so the heart of the matter is the ace of cups first and foremost you know there's the, the ace of cups she's holding it right in the heart chakra so it is it could be new love that you know has come into your life and it you know it's important to note that it doesn't mean that you are seeing somebody, but maybe there's somebody who you feel a strong pull towards, perhaps different from what you have felt before. Maybe this is in the workplace and you have never talked to that person before, but you feel it. Uh, Aquarians are very intuitive, so it might be all in your mind, but it's also in your heart. So um, sometimes people carry a torch for somebody and they have not begun a relationship with them, but they still feel it. And it's like, it's almost like being in that relationship because you're so happy to be around that person. Um, this can be the beginning of a heart centered business, a, like a healing arts type of, um, business or a creative project, uh, like an artistic project, uh, co coming from the past, we have the Knight of wands. Um, now, it's funny that in this deck, they're showing a woman. This is a, a very diverse deck. So they show, um, uh, they, you know, it's, some of the cards are more faithful to Rider Waite Smith than others, but um, some of them do their own thing, like this card. And including, you know, changing the gender. The knight is, you know, usually the young ma man. And, um, and yet it still conveys that kind of, you can see her expression on her face. There's the fire, the, the, the drum, the, the horse, which, um, this is actually connected to Sagittarius. So the, the horse, I believe that besides, you know, the actual symbol of Sag, I believe that the horse is also symbolic of freedom, you know, the wild horse. So the Knight of Wands is a very adventurous energy. And so perhaps there are Aquarians out there who kind of broke free from some constraints, maybe mental constraints, and just went for it. And that has, you know, kind of like increased your joy in life by tenfold. Um, the Knight of Wands can also be uh, sowing your wild oats. So it can be somebody who um, has come from a lot of affairs, and I'm not saying necessarily being promiscuous, but definitely maybe playing the field and doing so, perhaps they were breaking free from a long-term marriage relationship that was not, um, was not suiting them anymore, and they were kind of like... I you know, reveling in their freedom. And now you have met somebody that has taken your heart. And so it's just, um, win-win because, because you got the chance to taste freedom and now you're, you're, you've gotten to the point where you found somebody who has, who's, it's not just a physical attraction. It's something more than that. And the higher message is the queen of wands. And again, look how they convey wands with kind of like those reddish colors that the which is the passion and the joy 
the expressions on their faces. Um, the Queen of Wands is that confidence, you know, um, this is the spiritual message. So, um, if you have had any kind of difficult circumstance that led you to break free from it, it, your, it's like, it's really kind of interesting how this works. First of all, in order to break free from something, you have to find it within yourself that you have to find that dignity, that courage and that, um, I guess courage and strength are pretty synonymous, right? You have to find it within yourself. And once you do that, um, you're able to, um, to take that important step in reclaiming your freedom. And then that increases your joy, your confidence, and that makes you into something like the queen of wands where you just, it's like it feeds upon itself in a positive way. Just like when you have negative experiences that seem to support more negative experiences do the same thing. But this is in the positive direction. What crosses you is the Knight of Swords. Uh, this may be a person who, I mean, this may be a facet of you. You see the person running. I think this is an intriguing interpretation of the Knight of Swords. And they have um, that on a bow on their back, which is funny because um, the knight, you know, to me is like that warrior energy and is associated with fire. But uh, the swords are like you, air. So that could be something within yourself. I think that's the shadow that is like, um, that runs away maybe from commitment. Now, typically the Knight of Wands is that person who is not committal. The Knight of Swords, it's more of a mental thing where the person is um, perhaps very... Um, very critical and, you know, not diplomatic in their speech. But I also think that the Knight of Swords is not going to be somebody who thinks of relationships as necessarily um, what they're looking for. They may feel that they're very confining. They don't want to participate. And that can um, make you run away. Even if you find that special someone with the Ace of Cups, you have to watch your thoughts and your words to make sure you don't jinx it with your own um, ambivalence about settling down per se. And even if you're, because the Ace of Cups, it's not at that stage yet, but still, you know, anything to you that smacks of commitment, even in the vaguest way, might, you know, feel very um, challenging. So if you have these patterns, Aquarius, and one of the patterns can be, uh, and you have to look at your moon sign too, to see if you have a water moon sign, this can be particularly <laughs> maddening for both you and the other person, but also confounding. Yeah, I guess that's kind of similar too, um, where you're like, why do I do this? The, the um, tendency to kind of shut off emotionally just very quickly and just totally like cut somebody out. Um, look at that reaction. What is coming up for you? Are you somebody who is, um, you know, very, you have the tendency to be very, um, um, afraid of that kind of, um, feeling, you know, what, what feelings are brought up with that? And I, like I said, especially if your moon is in water, that can, can be what uh, triggers things because, uh, the water element is what the ace of cups is connected to that feeling part of yourself. And, um, that Aquarius may not, want that they they don't trust it 
it feels very um, irrational. What is coming in is the Ten of Pentacles. This can be, you know, um, this can be a very good omen for anything. I would love to know this, this um, sacred geometry. If anybody knows, I, if anybody knows if there's a specific meaning for that, let me know. But um, this is a card of generational wealth, hence showing the children, the family. This can be an inheritance. Um, uh, so when I do these readings, I tend to tie the cards into one theme. Maybe this has nothing to do with that. And it's just talking about inheritances. Um, certainly your 10th house, Aquarius, I'm trying to think here. No, I'm eight, 10th house. Forget it. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Um, I don't want to go down that road. Well, what I was going to say is that your eighth house, um, so your seventh house is your opposite sign of Leo, and then the eighth house would be Virgo. There is a new moon in that eighth house on September 17th, and this is a house of inheritances, other people's money. So maybe that has some connection to that. I don't know. But what I wanted to say, too, is that even with love, even though this is like an earthy type of a card dealing with finances, perhaps, um, this can be also um, related to meeting somebody, that could be the Ace of Cups, who you have this um, serious relationship that is sturdy, is solid, that lasts where you have children, grandchildren, or even if you're um, somebody who's older who is not going to have children with this person, you're sharing that that um, your your um, material blessings with them, and you have these this continuity going on. That's the word I think I was looking for: is continuity. And the outcome, more joy. The Page of Wands. I wonder if they are... You know, they do have... It seems like there are a lot of women depicted in these cards. Maybe trying to balance off some of the <laughs> patriarchal <laughs> uh, decks. I don't know. But anyway... Um, Page of Wands, that sense of, um, you know, new beginnings that are bringing you joy, uh, enthusiasm for life, the yellow color, also start spreading the news, getting an, a message that, um, getting communication that is very um, happy, good news. Be new beginnings, pages and aces. The early stages, the ace can be the, whatchamacallit, kind of the catalyst and the page is that early stage of something. And feeling, feeling like life has a lot to offer you. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would um, like a personal reading, the link is below. Have a great... Um, midpoint and i'll be seeing you for the end of um september take care bye